Hey there, Libra. Welcome to part two for the week of April 18th. This right here is part one. And if you haven't watched part one yet, it is linked up in the description down below. Uh, your first card here with the um, distinctive potential card, you have this convey your meaning card. It says reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. Crazy because your first reading, I was talking all about communication and clearly communication is very, very important for you or the way um, I feel like all communication, communication coming into you, and then I feel like the communication that you give out is going to be important. Again, not to jump too far ahead, although we've already covered this, but this this is a Staff of Hermes right between those two people. The Staff of Hermes represents communication. So, you know, I feel like the I would be very careful of your words. You have that hermit card, but this could be a good thing. It's like you could be using your words to get good things. You know, use positive words. I, I would just watch your words this week. With the Seven of Wands, you have the Ten of Wands. Uh, this could represent defending yourself, Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands. Um, you know, this could represent something where you're exhausted from trying to put up boundaries. And I would just be careful of that. Again, like I said in the first reading, it looks like if you have someone uh, who's like trying, sorry, this pillow is just uh, working its way up my back <laughs> that, that I have behind me. But, um, you know, it looks like there could be a person that maybe is coming in to tell you the truth. I would make sure that you're defending yourself there or protecting yourself. With the Six of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is like, it says, make a wish. It is a card of wishes, of course, and wish fulfillment. And a lot of people have been getting the Nine of Cups. It really is a card of like bathing in the energy that you want. And I really feel for whatever reason, the universe really wants people to do that right now. Six of Pentacles is giving to one thing, not the other. So I feel like it's kind of like saying, give to the things that you want, your energy, right? And avoid the things that you don't want. I've been getting this weird energy for all you air signs, believe it or not, where it's like there could be things that like seem important that are burdens where you're having to give them energy, but they're really not important. And or again, if you're pulling your energy away from something like a toxic person or from a toxic situation, what it, what do toxic things do? They try to pull you back in, right? And so I would be careful of any situations that are trying to just, you know, kind of crab in a bucket. Sorry, I whacked my microphone there that are, you know, trying to pull you back down. And I would give your energy only to things that give to you. Yeah, with the seven of pentacles, you have the seven of wands. I mean, with the ace of pentacles, you have the seven of wands literally saying, I feel like you need to commit to plan A. In your first reading, I was talking all about how I really feel this is a plan A reading. I feel like it's saying, you know, plan B distracts from plan A. So just focus on plan A. It's like the seven of wands literally saying, commit to the ace of pentacles, which is like a new opportunity that will be entering into your life, I feel. Uh, with the hummingbird, you have the Three of Swords here. Uh, the Three of Swords can be a card of heartbreak. It can be a card of forgiveness as well, needing to forgive the past. You're not for necessarily, you don't necessarily have to forgive a person from the past, but it could just say that, um, you know, kind of forgiving a person, letting it go is, you know, kind of you removing those swords from your own heart. So it's like, do you actually have to reach out to a person and forgive them? No, you just have to remove the swords from your own heart so that you can be set free. With the King of Wands, you have the Nine of Wands, another card of boundaries. So you, I definitely feel it would be one of those weeks that would be uh, good for you to set a lot of healthy boundaries with people to make sure you're defending yourself. The Nine of Wands also says try again, uh, not with a person necessarily, but I do feel like it's saying don't give up because of a past situation. Again, you might be, it kind of looks like you might be exhausted from a past situation, whether it's love or otherwise, could be a work situation as well. And I feel like the Nine of Wands is just reminding you that, you know, things are not, like future things are not going to be like the past thing, right? With the Two of Wands, you have the world. Uh, we talked about this uh, Two of Wands, how he has the whole world in his hands. It's like he needs to realize that new things can be different. And literally, I feel like that's what this reading is saying. I know that may not sound very exciting, but again, he thinks that everything is the same on the Two of Wands. He doesn't realize that he's got that world in his hands. He doesn't realize that things can be different, that, th that it is possible for him to have experiences in a different way. And so how does he find them? He has to go out into the world. He has to kind of go have experiences. He has to do things differently than he's ever done before. He has to leave a comfort zone. And all those things you can do with the World card. The World card is kind of like, you know, a card of using magic as well. Normally there's the sorceress inside the world card. She has two wands. It's like one wand is kind of like the magician's wand. She can manifest things with her words. The other wand is more about like taking action on things. So two wands, two of wands, world is clarifying the two of wands. <laughs> so I feel like you kind of need to use 
you know, both your like, you know, action and also your words or magic to manifest things. With the King of Swords, you have the Fool. I really feel like you're taking a leap of faith away from the King of Swords energy. I'm not a big fan of the King of Swords energy in your reading. I kind of said this in your first reading that I felt like this was more, I feel like that King of Swords was maybe more the truth or a truth coming out here. Not a big fan of it. Just I'm just going to throw it out there. So I really feel that a lot of you are kind of moving away from that. King of Swords is a card of wisdom, you know, and it's a card of kind of like having, he knows everything, you know, and part of me feels like this is a person who could be like a little bit of a know-it-all. I also feel like this could just be your energy and I'm not calling you a know-it-all at all. What I'm saying is it's almost like you've become too familiar uh, with where you are in life and I feel like you're kind of wanting, it's like your soul is wanting to break free from the familiarity and wanting something new and you have a lot of cards that would really kind of say that you want something new, that you want to, or at least your soul is calling for something new. Two wants, world, the fool, um, twice in your reading, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, wanting to break free. You know, so it's like everything is calling out to you here. Uh, with the dog and whatever this other card was, the shield, you have the vine. It says, seek out information that will help you. And you have the door. It says, opportunities are waiting for you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, pretty simple reading, Libra. I feel like this reading is just saying there is a new opportunity that is coming in for you. We said this in the first reading with the Ace of Pentacles, but it's going to require work. And you have this vine card, which says learn, basically, which is the answer for everyone. Um, mostly because we had we had a bunch of energy in Capricorn. That energy, it's all starting to leave. Pluto will be leaving soon, you know, soon-ish, I should say. And, um, you know, what I would say there is that all that Capricorn energy is like profitable education. I kept telling people for years, like go back to my old videos. I used to say all the time, Capricorn energy, profitable education. The more you learn, the more you earn. So literally learning is going to be your best friend, especially if there's a new opportunity that is coming your way, which there is with that Ace of Pentacles. Um, I feel like it's going to be very beneficial for you. With the Two of Cups, you have the Hermit. The Hermit is about doing some soul searching here. Uh, the Two of Cups, again, can be you and your higher self. So you might be doing a lot of communication with your own you know, higher self or your, you might be communicating with, with your inner voice or whatever you want to call it. And I feel like it'll be very beneficial for you to kind of um, go through, sorry, I dropped the hermit, to go through that type of communication. The hermit is kind of a more withdrawn energy, but I feel like this reading is asking you to open up. There's a lot of withdrawn energy here. Seven of wands twice, nine of wands, 10 of wands, very closed off, right? So I feel like it is getting to be time for you to like open up. With the Eight of Swords, you have the Queen of Wands. Yes, definitely. The Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, really going for something that you want. She kind of like really is very courageous. You know, she really makes things happen. And so I feel like if you can really get out there and make things happen, <laughs> you will be very successful at this time. So I feel like it is time to get moving towards like new goals, wishes, dreams, things like that with the Queen of Wands. She really doesn't care what anyone thinks as well. The Eight of Swords, she could be stuck because of any reason, could be people's opinions. So I would definitely set yourself free from other people's opinions. With the Page of Wands, here you go. Ace of Swords again. So repeating cards are basically the universe saying I meant what I said. Definitely some sort of truth coming out. Uh, I kind of feel better about this with the Page of Cups because... You know, it could be that a new person is communicating with you and the reading is saying it is safe for you to open up to this person. I definitely, I'm not going to sugarcoat this reading, Libra. I get exhaustion on that seven of wands and the ten of wands right here at the beginning of your reading. Um, you know, it's like sometimes, like I'm not, maybe you're not in a relationship anymore, obviously. And, you know, you have the three of swords twice and you've dealt with a person maybe who exhausted you in the past. So it's like opening up to a new person can be exhausting. <laughs> I get it. Uh, same thing if you're getting a new opportunity. Here's the thing. Ace of Pentacles, big opportunity. What happens with big opportunities? We have to put a lot of work in. We can get exhausted. So, you know, and maybe you've already, you know, I think it's one of those times right now in the universe where it's like a lot of us have already done a lot of work. So a lot of people are probably exhausted. Here's the good news. Here's the way that I look at it. I look at it like this right here, your last card, the three of pentacles, which we've already covered, but you see how there's a mountain. 
it's like where do you get the best views you, you get the best views at the top of a mountain you have the hermit here as well he's standing at the top of a mountain so it's like yeah maybe you're gonna have to climb a mountain maybe you are exhausted maybe you're tired and you're about to have to put a lot of work into something you might be saying i don't want to do it but i would encourage you to do it because guess what everybody else feels the same way so nobody else is gonna do it. So if you do it, then guess what? You get ahead and they don't. So that's why I would encourage you to put the work in. With that three of pentacles, you have the knight of wands. Uh, definitely could be a new person coming in for you. Knight of wands though, I feel is more like your adventure. Again, you have the fool twice here, very adventurous energy for sure. And the knight of wands, He's like going on adventure, but the card represents mysteries. There are two or three pyramids normally behind him on the Knight of Wands. And it kind of is a card that says he doesn't really like know where he's going, <laughs> um, but he's just going to allow kind of things to unfold as he moves forward. So, you know, I kind of feel like you're in a time of adventurousness. With the Three of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles really tells me that you have the resources necessary to accomplish something great at this time. So even though you might be heartbroken or you might be sad uh, about with the Three of Swords coming up twice a year, or maybe you're not sad, you might just be exhausted. The Queen of Pentacles says if, if you dig deep, you have the resources. I've been feeling tired lately, so um, I've been feeling exhausted. I totally get it, Libra. I do feel there is like a... Mm, you know, I do feel like there's almost like a, I don't want to call it a suff, like a suffocating energy, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's like a dampening energy. You know, it's like, I feel like things are kind of way, weighing us down right now. And I do feel like we have to dig deep and kind of find ways to motivate ourselves to not be tired and like all that other stuff. The, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Hierophant. Hierophant is a card of learning. So in a lot of ways, if a truth has come out, there, this could be a learning lesson for you. The Hierophant is also the connection between heaven and earth or the universe and earth, whatever you want to call it. And so it can say that uh, there is a victory coming in for you. That sword is above the mountains, by the way, on the Ace of Swords. So it says that, yeah, there are mountains in front of you, like I said earlier, but you'll easily be able to overcome the obstacles. So again, if you're feeling exhausted and you're doing something again, <laughs> I, I feel like you will be successful. With the Fool, you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, card is, I think you have Six of Pentacles twice, right? Or am I making that up? Oh yeah, you have the Six of Pentacles at the beginning of your reading. So Six of Pentacles is a card of equal give and take. It is also a card of success uh, in planting seeds. So I do feel, really, I feel this is one of those readings that says you are kind of growing a new opportunity. Six of Pentacles twice, planting seeds. Ace of Pentacles, the garden, right there. And it's like, we have to work to take care of a garden, right? We have to water it, fertilize it, weed it, all those other things. So there's clearly... You know, pretty simple reading. No reason to overcomplicate it. There's clearly a new opportunity coming in for you that's going to require work, climbing the mountain. But I feel like if you do it, you're going to have a victory, plain and simple. Love it. <laughs> that's it, Libra. Very simple week. So uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. But thank you, and uh, definitely enjoy your week.